It was the 2nd of January, 2.04 a.m. I woke up to a knock on the door. One knock every three seconds. I slipped on my slippers and walked down the stairs. As I walked down, the knocking on the door got faster, almost like a heartbeat. When I got to the door, the knocking stopped. I looked outside and nobody was there. I went back up to my room and went back to bed, thinking it was just some kids playing a prank. At 4.21 a.m., I woke up to the front door, slamming shut. I jumped, terrified. I looked over at my frosted window to find SMILE written all over it in the frost. I grabbed my phone next to me, ready to call 911, only to find a message written on it saying, I told you to smile. I cried and ran for my life, running outside. As soon as I got outside, I knocked on my neighbor's house across the road. They answered and held me while I sobbed. They phoned the police at exactly 5.42. The police came to my neighbor's house after an extensive search of my house. They told me there had been no evidence at all of anyone in my house other than me. The messages on the window were gone. Same with my phone. They told me to get some sleep and advised me to see the doctor about stress and anxiety problems. Fuck that. I knew what happened to me it was real. The following evening, after spending the day at my neighbor's house, I went home. I went up to my bedroom and set up a camera. It was aimed at my bedroom door and my bed. It was set to record and went to sleep. Thankfully, I slept through the night. However, as I watched the footage, I couldn't believe what I saw. At three in the morning, something crawled out from under my bed. It was a completely naked, anorexic man. He stood up and looked at me on the bed. He did so for an hour, not moving at all. Then he moved. He walked over to the camera until his whole face took up the shot. He was extremely pale and had bulging veins all over his head. His eyes were completely black with a huge smile on his face. He stared at the camera for another two hours, not blinking, just slightly twisting his head every now and again. After two hours of him staring went past, he walked back over to my bed and crawled back under. I skipped the video forward until it showed me getting up and walking over to the camera. The video finished. I was frozen with fear. The video showed him going back under, but not leaving. Whatever it was, it was still there.